All right, today we're gonna to convert this 36 volt electric easy go golf cart from six golf cart batteries. And we're gonna be using three deep cycle 12 volt batteries from Walmart. I believe these were $89 a piece. The model you're going for is 24 DC. Obviously DC just means deep cycle, so it's 24 is the uh, size and the dimensions of the battery. But, uh, so step one, you just wanna go ahead and remove all six year old batteries. And at this point, we're gonna just clean up some of this old corrosion from the old golf cart batteries. But uh, here in a minute, we'll start moving these batteries into the golf cart. All right, so I went ahead and just rinsed down the area here and just try to blow dry it. So obviously when you have six batteries, you use three there, three here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna use just the front three. So this conversion is gonna save you a lot of money over time. Um, last I checked, um, to replace with the Trojan, six six volt batteries was gonna run anywhere between $1,200 to $1,800 for all six batteries. Obviously three of these at 89 bucks a piece would be a little, little bit less than 270 bucks. Um, last time we bought Trojan batteries, they only lasted us five years. Most people say this conversion lasts four to five years, so considerably less price, hopefully the same performance. Um, also, they recommend you can use your original battery charger, um, but people recommend a company called Craftsman for this battery charger. Um, so I went ahead and got one of those. We'll be using a new Craftsman charger. So here in a minute, I'll show you a video of unboxing the charger as well. But uh, so to make these fit in here, I, you can see I'm going to use just the heavy duty black zip ties. So give me a minute and I'll put the batteries in the golf cart. Okay, so quickly, I just want to talk about how I'm not using the original brackets. I'm going to be using zip ties, and you want to keep the batteries tight. You don't want vibration from them. So what I've done is I'm using 24-inch zip ties. I've had to use three of them, and I'm going to make one big, you can see I'm making one big loop this way around all three of them. And then I'm going to individually use two zip ties to make a loop this way around each individual battery. It's gonna look nice and clean. You can kind of see, I haven't tightened them down yet, but you can see I've got two going to make a loop this way, and I use a total of three to go around all of them this way. Then next, I'll discuss the wiring. So obviously you have a positive coming in, you have a negative coming in. So you'd have a positive over here, and say a negative over here on your original six batteries. All you're trying to do is create 36 volts. So instead of six six volt batteries, we're gonna have three 12 volt batteries. So the positive will be coming in. You jump the batteries, jump the batteries. I'm gonna have to lengthen the wire over here that would have just been to this battery. I'm gonna have to lengthen it so it'll reach over here to this one. Stay tuned guys. All right, got her wired up here. So just like before, your positive comes out of your controller box here. You're gonna run your positive wire to the first battery, positive. To wire in a series, you take this negative to the next battery's positive. Take this battery's negative, jump it to this battery's positive. Sorry about that. Ignore this red wire. It's the only cable I had to make an extension with Same thing your negative wire coming out of your controller this one here All I had was a nut and a bolt to connect these all these wires together This is my negative of the entire system coming to this battery's negative So we have our 12 volt battery here when you wire it in series to the second 12 volt battery this creates 12 plus 12, this is at 24 volts. Add another 12 volt battery, create 36 volts. Hopefully you guys are staying with me. Ignore the extra wires. Some of the extra wires go to the headlights, that kind of thing. What I'll do is, 
I went ahead and just tightened these wing nuts down already. And then I'll go back with a, uh, like an anti-corrosive spray. I'll link the spray, the zip ties, the uh, battery charger. I'll put all those links in the description below this video in case you guys want to purchase the same setup. Overall, this is going to save you tons of money if you have an electric golf cart over the years. But just to give you an idea, turn this to the on position. When I flip the direction, there's our, there's our reverse sound. Flip it forward and it shows we are fully charged on my fault gauge there. Flip our headlight switch, make sure we got headlights. We got working headlights, so everything is wired correctly. And turn off the headlights, put it back in neutral, flip the switch off. Give me a few minutes to wrap the rest of this up and uh, I'll show you the difference between the old, we're not going to use the old charger, we're going to start using the new charger and we'll take it for a test drive. Right, now onto the battery charger part. This is the original charger that we've been using with the golf cart. Um, I believe my golf cart is a 99 or 2000. It's the uh, EasyGo, I believe it's called the TXT electric, 36 volt. And several people have recommended um, with this new setup of doing the three 12 volt batteries I'm using, the Deep Cycle. You can still use your old style charger, but they recommend going with you know, the newer technology. Um, so this company here is called Craftsman Golf. And you can order this for any year. My golf cart just happens to be what's called the D-style plug. You can see here on the old one. I guess you can see that it's flat on this side and curved on this side. I guess that's where they're getting the letter D for D-style. It says the D-style plug pretty much is 96 to 09. The years of your golf cart being made. Um, it also does say that it's waterproof. Uh, I guess that's if you have an application where you can have your golf cart being charged outside. Uh, let's see what it comes with. Looks like the manual here. Yeah, here we go. Oops, sorry. Oh, in case you do need to hardwire it, you could hardwire it yourself. But we're just going to actually use the actual plug-in part. All right, yeah, so good deal that it does come with the, the D-style plug that we're going to be using. Oh, I see, so it's just going to attach on there. Here is if you wanted to hardwire it yourself. Same scenario, you would just, you know, the positive, positive, negative, negative on your battery. Looks like the power cable here. And then since we're going to be using the D-style plug, we're just going to screw these together. The D-style plug we're going to be using. Good deal. Everything looks great so far. This looks like the back side of the actual charger we're looking at. We go 36 volt 20 amp all right I'm excited another big thing is this charger weighs I don't know maybe a little bit more than a gallon of milk maybe 8 to 10 pounds if that that charger feels like it weighs 40 pounds but anyways we're gonna have some uh, Sounds like flashing lights. How do you know what's going on here? Waiting, low charge, normal charge, trickle charge mode, fully charged, good deal. But anyways guys, so the idea of this whole setup of running three 12 volt batteries is to save you money. Um, 
like I said, buying the Trojan or any brand, good golf cart batteries are going to cost you twelve to eighteen hundred dollars. This setup here, the three batteries at eighty nine bucks a piece, that was less than two hundred seventy bucks in batteries. Even if they, you know, people claim they last anywhere between four to eight years, that's going to save you a lot of money there. This charger here, I believe it goes for two hundred. 200 to 230 dollar price range and i will link this in the description below of my video here so just make sure you look below the video for all these products so that's a one-time purchase so whether you, you know you buy that today this is going to last you you know 10 plus years you never have to buy that again um little things i think i have maybe ten dollars in the plastic zip ties that i used um, you can put some corrosive spray on your batteries. You know, that's just a few dollars. I'll link all that stuff below. Uh, th there's nothing better than saving money on your golf cart just because, you know, the, the batteries cost money. There's nothing cheap about it. Everybody loves golf carts. Let's go take it for a ride, guys. All right. Got the uh, charger plugged in. So when it's not, I'm sorry, it's plugged into the wall, so it has power. When the charger is not plugged into the golf cart, the light flashes red and green. And then we'll grab the plug here, right over here to the golf cart. And when you plug it in, the uh, fan just kicked on. Now the light will blink red when it's starting to charge. When it gets halfway charged, it starts to blink yellow. When it's almost fully charged, it'll start to blink green. And then when it is fully charged, it stays on green solid. When it goes to green solid, the fan also then turns off. So it's very simple to use. Plugs directly in. There's the old Trojan golf cart batteries sitting here on the shelf already but um, it's that easy guys um, I'm glad I came up with this idea of converting the golf cart in the new charger all right just want to give you a quick little update cruising down the road here it still goes the same speed it went before which is 16 miles per hour Wait for a car going past. Here, I'll flip it forward if I can. Oops. Everything appears to be exactly the same. Acceleration's the same. Speed's the same. Guys, I give this project a thumbs up. Thanks for watching my channel, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'll be creating more golf cart videos similar to this one. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching.